Is your brain hostage to advertisers? Are they making your brain work in their favor? Have you ever wondered why Amul's utterly butterly girl is so famous? Well, she's not just a mascot. She's the secret behind Amul's Guinea's world record for the longest running ad campaign. And the key to their success? A deep understanding of how our minds work. In this video, we will go on a journey as psychology and consumer behavior intersect uncovering the hidden forces that shape our decisions. Research shows that our emotions have a bigger say in how we buy stuff than logical thinking does. And that is where neuromarketing comes in, using such insights to drive consumer behavior. You see, your audience is not just a faceless crowd but a vibrant symphony of neurons firing and emotions swirling. By delving deep into the complexities of the brain, you can uncover the underlying reasons behind people's actions. And here's the exciting part. Savvy advertisers have already caught on to this and are using neuromarketing principles to create campaigns that truly resonate with consumers, leaving a lasting impact. So, Let's see how these principles work. The dopamine effect. Remember those Cadbury dairy milk ads where a curious kid peeks into a secret room? But what's the real story behind them? It all comes down to anticipation. That feeling of excitement and curiosity that arises when there's a gap between what we know and what we are about to find out. This anticipation triggers dopamine, a neurotransmitter in our brains that makes us feel good. It's what keeps us engaged and craving the sweet reveal in Cadbury's ads. They're like a trail of breadcrumbs leading us to a chocolate treasure. Whether it's a romantic proposal or a heartfelt reunion, Cadbury's ads promise us something sweet and satisfying in the end. And our brains can't resist that emotional payoff, the rush of dopamine. Dr. Robert Sapolsky, a neuroscientist at Stanford has shown that in humans, dopamine levels rise dramatically when we anticipate rewards that are uncertain. Now imagine this, you're stuck in a boring office dealing with a strict boss and out of nowhere, a coworker hands you a Cadbury. The unexpected joy of that moment releases dopamine in your brain. It's like a party in your head, making you associate Cadbury with delight making mirror neurons dance. Mirror neurons, a particular type of nerve cells in our brain, are our empathy channels. They get activated not just when we perform a particular action, but also when we observe a particular action. In a way, they are responsible for brand memory. Amul's Har Ghar, Amul Ghar campaign is a remarkable example of how to capture the attention of viewers and enhance brand memory. By featuring relatable characters and situations, the campaign effectively activates our mirror neurons. Also, through heartwarming stories that incorporate funny twists, the campaign creates an emotional resonance and thereby enables constant eye gaze as well. That means greater likelihood of the entire advertisement being seen from beginning till the end and therefore greater brand memory. Cognitive ease. Maggie is a fantastic illustration of how using simple language and familiar phrases can effortlessly captivate your audience. The catchy jingle of Maggie, Maggie, Maggie is a prime example of how simplicity can make a brand unforgettable. Effective packaging. Coca-Cola frequently introduces limited edition bottles featuring distinctive packaging. These visually appealing designs evoke curiosity and desire, tapping into the brain's natural affinity for novelty. As a result, consumers are more inclined to select these special editions. Color psychology. Ever wondered why brands choose the colors that they do? Here's the deal with Cadbury. They didn't just pick purple as their brand color randomly. No, they went for it because purple 
screams luxury, grandeur, all that good stuff. Now think of this, would you still feel the same about a Cadbury dairy milk bar if it came wrapped in bright orange paper? While you ponder on that, let's move on to our next principle, decision fatigue. We get tired when we have to choose, particularly when there are a lot of options. Amazon's streamlined checkout process is designed to alleviate decision fatigue among consumers. By offering one-click ordering, the e-commerce giant eliminates the need for customers to spend a lot of mental effort and time evaluating multiple options. By reducing the cognitive load associated with decision-making, Amazon enhances the overall user experience, making it more likely for customers to complete their purchases. Evaluating satisfaction. Continuing with reduction of cognitive load, Zomato's user-generated ratings and reviews are a game changer. When users encounter positive feedback, their brains register a sense of trust, a sense of satisfaction, which plays a significant role in shaping their dining choices. By relying on the experiences and opinions of fellow users, individuals can make more informed decisions about where to dine or where to order from, leading to higher levels of satisfaction and trust in their overall experience. Loss aversion or fear of missing out. FOMO is not just a buzzword, it is a real thing. You know that feeling when you come across limited offers or limited time sales? It's like there's a ticking clock in your mind, urging you to take action. Your subconscious whispers, act now, because it knows that if you don't, you might miss out on some amazing deals. That's why Flipkart's time-limited sales are so effective. They trigger our fear of missing out, making us feel an intense sense of urgency and pushing us to make those purchases. Anchoring. Have you ever noticed how our first impression can heavily influence our judgment? Well, that's what anchoring is all about. When it comes to pricing strategies, anchoring plays a crucial role in shaping how we perceive value. Oyo employs this strategy by setting a low anchor price, like Rs. 999, and then reveals the actual price, which is much bigger. Why? Because our brains go crazy over that initial anchor, and it messes with our perception of reality. Sneaky, right? But it works. Even if the initial price is much lower than the final one, we still think it's a great deal because of that initial low anchor. Classical conditioning. Advertisers know how to play mind games with us, and it's all thanks to psychology. They figured out that if they link two things over and over again, we start associating them together. Take the IPL theme music, for example. It's like the soundtrack to victory and excitement. And now, it's forever linked to the IPL. And have you noticed Maggie's yellow packaging? It just makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, right? That's because we associate yellow with positive vibes. And now we associate Maggie with the same. Oh, and who can resist Kit Kat's famous slogan? Have a break, have a Kit Kat. It's like a permission slip to relax and enjoy life. One chocolatey wafer at a time. It is worth noting that conditioning is more likely to yield positive results for products that we are less familiar with particularly when the differences between products are relatively insignificant. Additionally, this effect is more pronounced when we make choices without careful consideration. As you can see, neuromarketing has emerged as a potent tool for gaining insights into consumer behavior and captivating their attention. However, its ethical implications have triggered significant consumer backlash. As for the question of whether one can truly escape the influence of neuromarketing? It's a complex matter. Ultimately, it's up to consumers to remain vigilant and informed, and for brands to adopt responsible and ethical practices in their marketing efforts.